In this tutorial, I will show you how to deploy executable Java FX16 application Java file. So make sure you update IntelliJ to 2020.3.3. So if you look at here, I'm using Java FX with uh, JDK16. Next, I will name it as uh, how to 59 finish. Okay, the IntelliJ at this point is experimental support for JDK 16. That's okay. Uh, I'm using IntelliJ 2020.3.3. So in this project, project structure. Okay, I will say offset. I'm using uh, JDK 16, make sure. Okay, library, Java. In my case, program files, Java. Let's add Java FX SDK 16, library directory. Okay, okay. So as you can see, we have um, 16 our Java FX SDK 16 library. So we can use um, Java FX 16 with our project. Let's open FX ML in Sim Builder. Okay, here, as you can see, Java FX Sim Builder is 15.0.1. So when you edit it, it's going to save as a 15.0.1. So you may need to change manually to 16. Controller, let me just copy, remove. Personally, I prefer to use anchor paint. So replace to anchor paint. For a simple demonstration, one button and one label. Make sure you add a controller back so that your um, Java program can locate FXML. Let me change the message. Here I will say LBL message and label. Here I will say OK. Here I will say btn, OK. Event handler, I will say handle, btn, OK. OK, so when you click it, it will show you a new message. Save it, close it. So fxml here, btn, OK. You need to add a text field. So click here, create text field. This time we are going to add an event handler. Okay, just one more thing to do. I'm demonstrating Java FX 16, so let's change to 16. Normally we create a um, data field as a private, so let me change the private. Then you may need to use uh, FXML annotation. Let me just click here. One more. So you can see FXML annotation. So when I click OK button, I like to display new message. Here I will say hello Java FX 16. Very simple uh, application. Let's build. Okay, successful. Edit configurations. Again, I'm using Java 16. VM options. 
make sure you have a module pass to Java FX SDK 16 library. That's going to be here, library. Okay, then uh, you need to add at least two additional modules manually. JavaFX controls, then JavaFX FXML. Apply, okay. Now we know that uh, we have a simple applications it will display a um, new message. So let's focus on what we're supposed to be doing. Deploying a Java FX Java file. So let's create a new class called app. Make sure it's a class. Here we are going to invoke a main method belongs to main class. So this is the one. I will say main main, then arguments, that's all, for uh, app class, so here we are going to say artifacts, we are going to create a new one, jar, from modules, make sure you select app, ok, OK. Now we need to add um, DLL files so that we can use uh, libraries or functions belongs to Windows platform. So go to File. So under JavaFX SDK, we go to Binary. OK, there are a list of files can support JavaFX. Um, 16 programs can be run on Windows platform. So select them all. We're going to edit part of our JAR application. Okay, apply. Okay. Here we call it as uh, build artifacts. Make sure you select how to 59 JAR build. Try to look, uh, remember the location of your JAR file. On IntelliJ, you can go out, artifacts, that's the directory. So you can open it with uh, Windows Explorer. Okay, that's the one, how to 59 JAR on the inside. That's the JAR file we have, so you can simply double click. Okay, launch the application, click OK button. Hello Java 16 shows up. So this is how you can uh, deploy Java FX 16 Java file on Windows 10 uh, platform. That's all, thank you.